The only barrier at this point is you. Hey runners, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you are here. Today I have a little race recap for you about a 5K I ran on Sunday. And if you were able to catch my Saucony Endorphin Pro video with the first reaction, I did say in that video that I was planning to race in them and that I would check back and let you know how that went. So I also wanted to kind of turn this video into just talking about racing after 40 and can you still get PRs after 40? So let's go ahead and take a look at my race. I'm gonna talk to you kind of about my plan going into this and then as well as the day and the outcome. So just a little bit of background on me as a runner. I've been running since I was about 20, 21 years old, um, but I really did not know what I was doing for a really, really long time. And I would also, you know, run some races without really doing proper training. I really didn't even know what proper training was. Um, I ran a couple marathons in my 20s that really didn't go well. Again, just not properly training, just kind of wanting to check them off the list that I did them. So as a 40 plus runner, I would say the last several years, I've really gotten serious about my running really after, you know, I started having kids, which is kind of funny because before I had my first baby, um, or when I got pregnant with my first baby, I was like, oh, my fast years, my fastest years are probably behind me. I'm going to be a mom now. I'll probably never be as fast. And that couldn't have been further from the truth. So if you are arriving on this video and, you know, in that place at all thinking, I've had kids, I'm not going to get faster. I'm too old. I'm not going to get faster. I think what a lot of us have to remember is that, you know, if we came to running later in life, then we really have nowhere to go but up, right? Um, most of us probably weren't these track stars in high school or running cross country in college or anything like that and are maybe coming to running much later in life. And so that gives us all a really, really great opportunity to be able to continue PRing as we get older. So in being older than 40, I definitely had read different things about how your fitness starts to decline after you turn 40 years old and just kind of slowly declines through the years as you get older. And so it's this immediate thought of like, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, get PRs anymore, or I'm on borrowed time, you know? And I definitely have that feeling, but at the same time, I tried not to let that voice creep into my head and that, you know, I'm feeling good and I'm just gonna, you know, keep doing the training that I know that I need to do and keep doing my best. And if I, you know, don't get a PR, I'm not gonna say to myself, oh, it's because I'm over 40, I'll probably never PR again and remind myself that, you know, not every race is going to be a PR, right? So when I signed up for this 5K, I wasn't even training for a 5K. I was training for a marathon. And if you've watched any of my previous videos in the last several weeks, I said I was training for a marathon and I was. Well, it ended up getting canceled. And then I continued to you know, train for a marathon. Um, and as a coach, I have certain things that I know to do to train for a marathon. And I kind of have slowed down some of that mileage the last couple of weeks. And then I really just signed up for this 5k like a week in advance. Um, so a athlete that I coach was at the race with me. And in fact, it was just she was going to run it. And then I, you know, said, why don't I, I run too? That would be fun to be there and cheer you on as you try to get your goal. And, you know, I'll do it too. But even though I wasn't training for a 5K, a lot of, you know, the training that I was doing would serve me very well in going into a 5K. Um, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about, you know, what I did to train for this 5K because I wasn't training for the 5K. I do have some major tips. If you check out um, how to get faster, I would recommend checking out that video for sure. Let's go ahead and get in the race cap and I'll touch on a couple things um, towards the end. So going into this 5K, I did have a PR goal in mind. Last year on the track, I just did a like time trial 5K and I ran a 21.44 and this is like seven minute per mile pace flat. And for a couple of years before that, I had just been inching down to that seven minute per mile pace and just oh, want so badly to get in those sixes. It just seems so far off, um, especially um, 
my race times, you guys, I mean, I ran when in my 20s, my 5Ks were like nine minutes something. And eventually I got down to under eight minutes and I was amazed at myself for getting under eight minutes. So if you're in a place right now where oh, I'm just not getting faster, this is probably where I'll always be. Just know you have more in you. And that's what I have to keep telling myself as well, especially trying to hit this under seven minute, you know, mile pace um, goal that I have is that I remember when I was eight and it just seemed impossible to get into the sevens. And now I'm, you know, closing in on those, um, getting in those sixes. So 21.44, that was a goal. My husband, when we started the race, my husband had my son start the timer um, because to see, so he could cheer me on and kind of root for me to try to get under that 21.44. My son is very competitive, so he loved having that job. So the course was awesome. It was a beautiful day. The weather was awesome. Just a little bit of wind, but overall it was a really nice day. And yes, I did wear my Saucony Endorphin Pros. I warmed up. I always do a little bit of a warm up. I will just say these really did feel awesome. Um, sizing, I talked about in the other video, was a little like, uh, I don't know. And um, once I like wore the right socks, very thin, like moisture wicking socks from Features, which I'll link below, awesome socks. Um, I just was really careful about how I tied them that they felt perfect but I really just felt like locked in that they really formed to my foot I cannot recommend them enough so as the race got started um, I did feel very bouncy and peppy right off the start I started a little too fast and I'm someone who really tries to pace super carefully so I was keeping an eye on my watch and noticed I think I probably looked at like three tenths of a mile and I was down at like 650 and knew that was too fast. I really wanted to just hover right around sevens and then hopefully, you know, bring it down as the race progressed. <clears throat> I will say my legs felt a little, little tired and though I did do some tapering um, over the course of the week from that marathon training that I had been doing in high mileage, I still think some of the fatigue was a little bit there. Um, I don't think it hurt me or anything like that, but I could feel a little bit of soreness in my legs, but really overall, I just felt like bouncy, peppy. I told my husband at the end, yeah, it, this just feels like a light, fast shoe. And just, I think over time, really that um, the energy return that you get out of it and taking off that fatigue from your joints and tendons and muscles, I think that that would be huge over the course of a marathon. 5K, a little bit different, right? So I came through the finish. I was coming towards the finish. My family is yelling, cheering for me. Uh, my son is saying, hurry up or you're not going to get there. You got it. Finish strong. Oh, she's so close. I didn't think that I got it. Um, so my watch said 3.07 when I crossed. And I don't know if anyone else is like this, but that is very irritating to me. I want it to, I want to see my watch say the full 5K and register as that. But I also know that GPS watches aren't perfect. This course has been done many, many times. So I do think that the course is accurate. I, as an indigo Israel, I don't know that I know, it was really close. I crossed in at 2138. So my husband said, you're 2138, you did it, you did it. Um, and it was just a really exciting feeling. I will say, and I don't want to sound annoying because I think, but everyone understands this. I just really want to be like, there's no question that I got under sub sevens. You know what I mean? Um, so I was right at that 659 mark. I would love to keep pushing and get a little bit more. But like I said, I mean, I'm 41 years old. Continuing to get those PRs, it's just a really, really good feeling and I've been working super hard. And if I could give you one major um, piece of advice in terms of trying to get your 5K PR down, even though I wasn't training for a 5K, I was running a lot of miles, a lot of slow miles. And I talk about this in my video about how you need to be running 80% easy mileage and you need to be running more miles. If you can be doing those things without even focusing on 5k speed work, you know, that's really going to give you a huge bump up in your fitness and your cardiovascular system so that you can, you know, cross that finish line in a time that you have the potential for. So I would just say no matter where you're at, 
you know, get those thoughts out of your head that you can't do it because the only barrier at this point is you, right? Um, of course, we all have some sort of limitations, but a lot of that, you know, starts in our head telling that, telling ourselves that we can't do it. So for me and myself, I'm going to keep pushing towards those goals and those PRs, writing that for as long as I can. I know it won't be forever, but you know, 41, let's just pass that 40 mark and losing maybe a tiny bit of fitness, but it just feels really good to be there. So I love talking to you guys about it and being able to share that and talk about this fun shoe and being able to wear it to do it. And let me know in the comments, guys, what is your goal? Whether it's a 5K goal or any other race that you're doing, I would love to be able to cheer you on. If you need any advice on anything about how to reach your goals, please let me know. I'll, I'll go ahead and put my email below. You can email me um, if you want, are interested in coaching. I'm a running coach, so please reach out um, or put in the comments if you have any questions. I'd love to make videos on whatever you need. All right, guys, I will catch you in the next video.